welcome back. A public interest litigation has been filed against Tamil Nadu government's move to appoint ex-employees for vacant posts. The petitioner claims that this move by the government is unfair and unreasonable. Though the Tamil Nadu chief minister has clarified on the issue of employing retired personnel, political parties are up in arms against this move. It seems the opposition's campaign against the government order seems to have gained momentum across the state with youth wing groups, government employees union and other organization extending their open support, a fresh public interest litigation has been filed at the Madras High Court, demanding a quash on this controversial move to appoint ex-employees. So it destroys the rights of youth to be employed in accordance with law. So this duo would be violative of Articles 14, 16 and 21 of the Constitution. For 35-year-old Swaminathan, it was a shock when he came to know about this new government order. He holds more than five degrees, including a doctorate in philosophy. Swaminathan had enrolled with the government's employment exchange 10 years ago, and his wait for a government job is still on. He fiercely opposes this move. <laughs> At this employment exchange in Santom, many are waiting like Swaminathan, hoping that someday help will come their way. But when asked about the government's move to appoint ex-employees, everyone echoes the same sentiment. On one hand, the political parties are gearing up to raise this issue on the floor of the house. On the other, the youth wing organizations are planning to hold a demonstration, demanding its withdrawal. Tamil Nadu government's move to fill up vacancies with ex-employees has left many concerned. It must now prepare to face the opposition's questions in the upcoming assembly session. Clearly, stormy days ahead for the ruling DMK government. In Chennai, with camera person Sagai Raj, Shabir Ahmad for NDTV Hindu. Bus drivers are sometimes considered to be rash, reckless and even dangerous. But today we meet a person who is very, very different. Meet Ramesh. Ramesh is unlike other bus drivers in the city. Being passionate about his job, he has been a bus driver for more than 20 years now. But what really sets him apart from the rest is the fact that he is one of the few drivers in the city with an accident-free record. Surprisingly, he says that having such a record is no big deal. All it takes is a little effort and practice. Mr. Ramesh is not just a good example for his other fellow drivers, but in fact a good inspiration for all of us to be responsible road users. The commuters who travel on Ramesh's route not only appreciate his skill in manoeuvring the bus, but also say that they feel safe and secure travelling with a responsible driver like him. He's a good driver. I hope he continues towards his service. I've travelled to many buses, but most of the drivers are pretty much rash. But compared to them, he's more better. And I hope he just maintains towards his service. Ramesh is not the only one. There are more than 200 bus drivers in the city who have an accident-free record. A few of them were invited and appreciated by the transport secretary at a recent function. Speaking at the function, he said the government's top priority is to check speeding buses on highways. Yeah, the Honorable High Court of Madras has told the Transport Commissioner of Tamil Nadu to see the possibility of uh, limiting the speed of the vehicles because it is a major cause of accident. So one of the solutions which we are proposing is uh, putting governors. But then it has to be a foolproof situation because it should not be, uh, it should be temper free. So uh, there's a committee which has been formed. And it's a very, uh, it's, it's one decision which we, if we take, we also ensure, we want to ensure that it is complied with. As proposed, they plan to install speed governors in all buses. 
This is a device which checks and controls acceleration. Besides this, he also said that huge expansion and modernization plans will be put into place by the department to make public transport system popular and more user-friendly. All these efforts, if executed well, would in turn make Chennai safer and greener in the long run. In Chennai with camera person Arun and reporter Bartala Nithila for NDTV Hindu. The historic mountain train from Kunur to Udagamandalam, which was suspended due to heavy landslides in November, resumed its service today. The Southern Railway General Manager Deepak Krishnan flagged off the first train between Kunur and Uti this noon. Later addressing a press conference, he said that train services between Kunur and Metapalyam will be resumed before the 15th of May. All efforts are being taken on a walk footing basis to restore the breed spots, especially between Hill Grove and Rani Maidan. He further added that the rain and landslides had caused damage to the tune of 15 crore rupees. Lots more still to come. Keep watching NDTV Hindu.